One very handy theorem in mathematics is the Bonnach mapping theorem, also known as the contraction mapping principle, the Bonnach fixed point theorem, and probably several other names that I've forgotten. I'm not going to give the exact statement of the theorem, but I am going to give some motivation for it and a nice picture that might help explain the idea behind it. The theorem essentially says that if you have a function on a complete metric space M, and F sends M into itself, so you can compose F with itself, then if F is what's called a contraction mapping, which means that applying the function must bring points to cl closer together, which formally says that the distance between F of X and F of Y is strictly less than some constant k times the distance between x and y, and k, oops, and k is in between 0 and 1, but it's strictly less than 1. Because if it was allowed to be equal to 1, you can get issues where the points won't converge. Anyway, here's a picture that might give some intuition for what this means. The theorem itself says that if you take any point x in the space and you apply f to it a bunch of times, eventually this sequence will converge to a unique fixed point, which I will call uh, I actually don't know a good name for it. Let's just go with Y. So this Y is unique, and every point in the space will converge to it if you just keep applying the contraction mapping F repeatedly. The reason for this is because F brings points closer together, so applying enough times ought to squish the entire space down to one point. And a good picture for this is, well, we'll see. So say your space looks like this. And then F shrinks that space down to a subset of itself. But that subset itself is shrunk down to another subset that's even smaller. But that subset's shrunk to an even smaller subset, and so on. And eventually you just have one point left. Here's a worked example. We're going to take the metric space to be R, one second, R with the usual metric on it, and the function f is going to send a point x to itself divided by 2. Now you can see its fixed point pretty oops, easily, which is just 0, because dividing 0 by 2 doesn't change it. So we're going to consider what happens if uh, on the unit interval. So you have the interval 0 to 1. That gets sent to half of itself. But that half interval is sent to a fourth interval, which is sent to a eighth interval. Which is sent to a sixteenth of an interval and so on, and if you keep dividing, you'll just have the singleton at zero.